So now we have the login functionality and we displaying tasks to a user and we've allowed the user to mark tasks as done and undone. We're going to go back to our editor and we're going to allow our user to actually create a task. So first we need to create a link. So let's go to our home page and inside here we're going to create we're going to add a small tag and we're going to say a href. We're just going to add a dummy link for now and we'll say new task. Perfect. And we'll just encase this in brackets, just make it a little bit cleaner. Like so. Now we need to add the root for this new task. So let's go to our roots file, root get new array as new uses home controller at get new and we also need a post root for that so post new array uses home controller at post new and we also want to run the cross site request forgery filter on this so now let's create those methods in our controller we have public function get new and we also have public function post inside here all we're going to do is return a view of new so let's create that view now new file new.blade.php we're going to extend layouts.main oops and then we're going to set the section to content and stop it and we'll just say new here just to make sure that everything works click and we didn't update the link so let's go back URL root new refresh click awesome so we're going to say here h1 create new task and we're also going to create a form form open and form close perfect so we're just going to have one input field here it's going to be input type equals text name equals name placeholder equals the name of your task awesome now I lied we need two inputs we also need the submit button so input type equals submit value equals create so at the moment nothing is going to happen we're just going to get a blank page so we need to add the functionality in this method here so we're going to create a rules array. We're going to set the name field to required. We're also going to say minimum characters is three. Max is, hmm, we'll set it to 255. And what else do we need? I think that's just about it. So let's create the validator instance. Validator make input all rules we'll say if validator fails um, return redirect root new with errors validator and just like in our login page we need to add the error message so we'll just copy the code from there and we'll test this out create perfect we get an error if we enter one character Great. So let's go back. At the moment, if a user enters some correct input, we just get a blank page again. So we need to say item equals new item, item name equals input get name, and item save. And then we're going to return the user to home. So let's refresh here. Name of task, uh, feed the cat. Enter. Let's check our database. Oh, we didn't we didn't specify the owner ID. So let's go back to our code. We need to say user ID up here equals auth user ID. And below here we just say item owner ID equals user ID. And in fact, let's just make this a little cleaner. Let's try that again. 
feed the cat. Perfect. We created a task and now we come back and it's done or undone. 